Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We're gonna talk about today uh, Greg's number one, and we're actually gonna do Greg's number one second genetics. So I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna show you guys um, a little preview here. The reason why I'm gonna do genetics of Greg's number one, I mean, I don't actually have enough shards of Greg's number one. You can see that I have zero out of 420. Um, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna use general shards. Now, a lot of you might ask why. There's a perfectly good reason for this. Um, now, Grace Nomamon in his second stage genetics. Basically, I'm going to show you first a normal genetics, a normal passive skill right now, which is basically the normal passive skill. It actually gives us, um, it gives us. Let me just show you here. Basically, it gives a 40% block rate for all allied Digimon. 40% block rate is nothing. It's basically nothing at all. But if we go into genetics right now, as got a modified preview here on the top uh, left. Okay. Now, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and here. Additionally increased, let me just, there, you can see there on top, it says additionally increased 35% damage immune rate for all allied Digimons two rounds, okay? If there are three or more um, Darkness, Soul, if Digimon Battle increased 20% probability, if there are three or more Fire, Soul, and so on. Now, if you upgrade Grace Number Months, for example, Second Genetics, now, if you max this out, second stage genetics, basically you're going to get 35% damage immune rate on top of like block rate, which is, you know, it's kind of a big difference, guys. I think that's a huge amount of difference. The block rate, to be honest, it's not it's not the best. What well, the best thing is right now is basically 35% damage immune rate. And basically, this 35% damage immune rate is like similar to Piedmont's passive, yeah? Basically, Piedmont's passive, I think you need to have four uh, different types of souls in order to unlock his passive, which he has... Um, 30% is it damage immune rate but that's for one round now grace number one is for two rounds so there you go okay now I don't think I'm gonna have enough gold but anyway in the meantime I'm, I'm gonna like go through that gold section later so that's first of all let's get some shards here let's go first of all let's go with like uh, maybe let's go with let's go with 34 shards for now <coughs> Okay, let's go to genetics. So the first level requires you 225,000 gold. Okay, that's done. Uh, also guys, I want you guys to pay attention to my battle power right now, which is 447,000. Okay? I think when we finish by with genetics, we, we should be able to get like to 450,000 or higher. Maybe 460,000, but let's, let's have a look anyway. Okay, now. Alright, that now requires 450,000 gold and it requires two shards. Now, two shards and one Awaken Alloy. It's a good thing I've been stacking these Awaken Alloys, to be honest. That's another one there. Oh my god, that's another one. Now it requires three um, three shards of Grace Nolamon. Okay, and again. Now it requires four shards. And again, four shards. So that's stage one done. Okay. Now, let's have a look at battle power wise. 450,000 guys, look at that. Basically that gained a good amount of battle power just from one stage genetics. Okay, now, in the meantime, since we've done that, we can unlock the next one because all of these requirements, they are all met. So what that means is basically genetic stage, study level one arrived to uh, level eight. Then we have star all, all equipment arrived 10 and digital equipment total arrived 600, which is way over. Anyway, let's unlock that. Now, before anything else, I'm gonna go and let's check out Grace Nova One here in the. Um, I'm gonna go to Arena. So let's go into Arena and let's see. So far, I'm ranked 43. Now, let's see. Let's fight with Plus Ultra here because battle power almost similar. Now, let's see how this goes. Okay. Now I'm just gonna bite on my uh, leftover. Um, Apricot over here or nectarine. Mmm. Oh wow, that's good. Okay. Now I just want to see how well this uh, Grace Number One is going to do in terms of uh, attack. So far, you guys can see that I have the Grace Number One like Fire uh, Soul active because I have like three, four Fire Digimon in my team, which is Grolmon, 
Vidramon and Omnimon. So that's three of them, which means uh, basic Great Lama is going to become a Fire Soul too. But obviously, right now, he only has basically uh, he has a 40% block rate, which it's not much because I don't have a lot of Digimon that like that has high block rate on my team. <clears throat> oh my god, I hope Great Lama can survive one more round. Is he, oh, he's probably gonna die now. Oh, wee, he's still alive. Is he dead? Is he gonna die? He's died. Oh, he's still alive. He's still alive. <clears throat> okay, now nah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Grace. No, come on. So it did damage of wow, 3.7. That's not bad. Wow, look at that, the Joby one assist. Okay, now we got Lucimon. It looks like I'm probably gonna fail this one. Um, in terms of this, we're gonna have to skip and maybe do a genetics like second stage now. And then let's see how the second stage genetics will have effect on our team. Uh, is Chris one alive? Oh, he's still alive. Ooh. But I don't, I think it's the next round where we're gonna die. Um, Oh my god, Slayer Dramon. Okay, there goes Grace Nomamon. Whoa, still alive. <laughs> uh, never mind. Alright, so time to skip this, guys. Okay, now we failed that one. Okay, that's fine. So, now let's go back onto Grace Nomamon. Let's go into genetics. Okay, so stage 2 right now. So it requires 3 shards and 2.7. Wait, no, that's 270,000 gold. Okay, so we got three. We got another three there. Now I can do the next one. Okay, so I don't have enough shards of Great Number One right now, so. Now let's go on maybe just not too much because we don't want to, we don't want to like over, overuse the shards. Back into genetics. So I have 1.38 million gold left, which is not a lot because. Wow, the next one costs us six, 630 gold, 630,000, so I can only do once and twice. Okay, so we're at basically stage 5 right now, we have another 5 stages left to go. So, in this case, we need more gold. Okay, so how do we get more gold? Um, I mean, for me, I have no choice because I didn't, I didn't like save my gold. So, the other option is basically we have to reset one of our Digimons. Uh, now, let me go to skill. Which one has the highest amount of skill? Alright, now, maybe I'm gonna go with... Hmm... Gagamon, Seedramon, or do we go with... To be honest, I'm gonna go with Valkyrimon here. Alright, advance. Uh, we're gonna go on reset and skill reset right there. It's gonna cost 93 diamonds and we're gonna receive back 12 million gold. Okay, let's do them. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. I mean, try to save your gold before instead of resetting the Digimon. I think it's, it's more easier this way. But for me, I want to replace my Valkyrimon because I, I find it no use in my second team at all. So that's why I'm slowly resetting it. Anyway, so let's increase that. Let's do that. Now, okay, now we're out of sh shards. You can see I'm uh, basically two shards. Uh, we needed five. So. Okay, so let's say we need 5 here and 5 in the next one, that's 10 shards. So far we have 2, so that means I need 8. Let's go with 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. No. 8, yeah. Okay, let's exchange that to 8. <clears throat> okay, guys, here we go. Now, I hope it's going to require 5 on the next one as well, but right now it requires 1.2 million gold. And if you guys notice that it requires 2 awakened anyways. <laughs> right, okay, so let's do that. There we go. And the next one requires five general shards again, which is nice. So I prepared well for that. And 1.3 million gold. Let's activate this and we are ready. There we go. Ultra Awaken or Apollo Diana of Fusion. Let's look at its battle power. 454,000. It's not bad at all. And now, base, look at that. It's, it's basically become active. It's Ultra Awaken is become active. So now, 
Additionally, create 25% damage immune rate for all allied Digimon's two rounds. If there are three or more, now it says here darkness, but then obviously it says down here uh, fire souls. Increase 20% critical rate for all allied Digimon's two rounds, which is fine. Now, let's go on to arena here. Let's fight the same one again. Now, let's see how well we're gonna do here. Okay, so this is a this will this will be classed as a first round. Now, when the enemy attacks me, and then I attack him, that'll be classed as second round. Now, let's see how much damage we're gonna receive. We should be less damage than before, to be honest. I mean, the only way to find out if Animal attacks us or um, lose someone. <clears throat> oh wow, I, I just noticed like this is a big difference. You know why? Because on the last one when Jupiter Moon attacked us, we managed to receive some kind of damage like maybe 5 to 10%. But now Whoa, that's a that's a big amount of damage decrease, but obviously I got stunned three of my Digimon. Actually I got stunned four of them. <laughs> Talk about having a bad luck, right? Anyway, okay, so that guy's gonna attack me. Yeah, but look at that. It's not taking much damage compared to like the previous fight we had. Which is good. Okay, oh wow. Oh, oh, is, is that stage I'm gonna die? Oh, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. No way, guys. That stage one's health is like, it's like this. But he's gonna use ultimate skill now. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be like, yeah, here we go. Anyway, our two rounds of 35% damage immune is like kind of finished right now, so we should be receiving the full amount of their damage. So my health should be like dramatically down here. Yeah. I've noticed him now. Oh, oh, there goes Gromon, there goes Imperial Jaman. Oh no. Are we gonna fail this as well? Probably most likely gonna fail. <clears throat> if we could have avoided like that Slayer Jaman using ultimate skill in the last round, we should have been okay. But anyway, yeah, we looks like we failed this one as well. Okay, now let's skip this because we failed that. Um, now I'm gonna. Oh, actually, we don't have any more fight chances. But anyway, guys, uh, you guys notice the difference in uh, terms of like receiving less damage. But at the same time, just have a look at its, uh, its Grace Nova on genetics uh, and its second stage because there's actually a lot of more other um, stats and buffs it, it, it initially gives you here because if you guys notice that obviously when you do second stage genetics of Grace Novamon, it gives you like different types of soul formation like it can give you obviously the current one is basically fire soul it's original one but then when you upgrade second stage genetics you can choose from fire soul you can choose from darkness soul you can choose from light soul or you can choose from courage soul so basically there's four options right there so it totally depends what kind of team you want to build if you want to build like a courage soul or a light soul just unlock second stage of grace number one genetics and you can work with that but to keep in mind that Obviously, the effect can't be stacked with Imperial Dramon, Paladin's Mode Series, Wizardmon, Kordramon, Black or Greymon, Makamon. You know, it doesn't stack with all, all of these other Digimons, which is downside to it because I have Imperial Dramon, Paladin Mode on my team already. <coughs> so, as you guys can see, like, you know, these two, they're, um, you know, they're passive here. It doesn't actually stack because it says increase attack for all our Digimons in the front row. Now, this one is. Uh, reduce attack of... Oh no, not that one. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god. Let me just find that. Attack for all the in the front row. Okay, so that's the one. Front row there. The damage taking this three rounds. Hmm. It's kind of weird. I don't. I don't see it here. 
I don't actually see it here. It just says reduce the attack of all enemy Digimons. But this one says increase attack for all allied Digimons in front row. So that's kind of weird why I would say that I can't stack up with uh, Imperial Paladin mode. Um, hmm. Unless maybe the genetics of uh, the Imperial Paladin mode. I haven't actually finished the second stage genetics. So let's have a look at second stage genetics here. So basically it has. It reduces attack. Attack decrease it, okay. It doesn't actually mention here. Anyway, guys, since we're doing this um, genetics here, uh, I would love to do it. Hmm. So we have 5 million gold, and the next one we have basically 4, um, four of these left. So, okay, since we're here already, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that. We have like four in Project shards, and I need. I think I need 10, 15. Okay, so we have four. Let's go with 11 for now. <coughs> okay, let's finish these genetics. Okay, so we got 1.1 million gold there. And now we need 1.2 million gold, and we need another extra shard. So we have. So we need 10 basically, okay, 8, 9, no, let's give it 6 there, okay, there we go, let's do that, and let's do that there, oh, we have like enough gold to finish the second stage of Imperial one. phew, oh, thank goodness for that, okay, I mean, we can unlock the next one, but obviously, uh, the next one is basically skill chance plus 6, and I don't have a lot of like, I don't have a lot of gold and I don't have a lot of like materials so not the next one so for now I'm more than happy with these stage 2 genetics and the same should be with this one I think it's um, yeah skill chance plus 6 now as much as everyone the one thing I really hate about is everyone talks about it, like sec uh, 6 stage genetics especially when they talk about potential 17 Digimon it really annoys me because when people talk about these six, seven stage genetics or whatever, it's basically like these are whales, like literally people that spend so much money for the game. They don't even know what money means to them. And obviously, like this is not the case for like the other 99% of people who play the game, because obviously 99% of people they're not super whales. They're not even whales that play the game. So it's like it really annoys me because not everyone. We're not all gonna get to six, um, six stage genetics of Great Snowman or even in Pearl Jam one. Because that means that you have to buy two awakened weapon. If one awakened weapon will cost you, it will cost you. Um, okay, let's say twenty thousand diamonds to twenty-five thousand diamonds for one awakened weapon, which is probably on discount. That means if you get two, you need to spend fifty thousand diamonds or higher to get two awakened weapon for one Digimon. And keep in mind that to unlock the potential seventeen Digimon is going to cost you like thirty thousand diamonds, roughly, or even more. I would say more because Grace Number One cost me three stars, forty-five thousand diamonds, which is a lot, and I've been saving them for like four or five months. So you guys can see the difference now. Anyway, yeah, like I would highly suggest try to do like your second stage genetics uh, for now, until you can manage to do more. I mean, obviously, Chaos One is a free to get Digimon. Its weapon is freely farmable, which is good because I managed to get six stage genetics, and you can see that I have uh, awakened already. So let's go to his skill. Obviously, you have here Ultra Awaken, Breakthrough, and then again Breakthrough, Banshee or Blade. <laughs> so it's a big difference everywhere. Anyway, okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. I would love to hear your questions down below, whatever you have to uh, ask. Um, anyway, if you guys like this video, if you enjoyed it, leave your comments down below and give us a like or dislike, and let us know what you think about this video. In the meantime, I'm just gonna go over here into the Elite section because. I've been struggling to actually complete this, but since I did those genetics there, um, let's see how well we're gonna do now. Okay, so let's build up our Furin. Okay, this is good. 
<clears throat> okay, so this is I've literally been struggling here for the past like almost a month or two months. <clears throat> Especially with this Magnamon. This Magnamon is really annoying for me. I, I can't can't stand this Magnamon. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Let's go with uh, great number one first. Okay, that's not bad, not bad. Let's go with um, let's go in project here and move both. <coughs> and Grollmon. Okay, the next one let's go with let's go with Omnimon and then I'm gonna use Chaos Mon next. At least the back row one is gonna die, which yeah, she's gonna definitely gonna die. Now we want to decrease fury on these two here before uh, they can release ultimate skill. Now let's go with chaos one. Okay, so that's dead. Now I'm gonna use chaos one lastly again because of his fury down, and I hope it's going to work because if it doesn't. Oh, Okay, so we got Alpha Mon. Now, hmm, his damage wise is a lot better than he was before. Like, it's a lot less damage than I was taking on the. before I did the genetics. Okay, so Stair Jamon, Decrease Fury didn't work. But you guys can see how I'm taking less damage, to be honest, on my front row Digimons at least. So let's try and finish this before. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, he recovers health. He recovered health. Oh my. Oh no, here we go. Uh, I was trying to avoid this, but the unavoidable has happened. Okay, guys, so after this round, we're gonna be taking on a lot of damage. Like, literally, we should be taking on a lot of damage after this. Because our two, two rounds have finished. Okay, let's use this. To be honest, right now, um, if I didn't have this like genetic uh, second stage genetics of, of uh, Chris Number One available, I am most likely probably one of my Digimons would have died by now. Come on, Magnamon, die! Oh my God. Okay, now look at that. Did you guys see how much damage that did now? So you can see the difference in comparison to the. Uh, None um, before I did the genetics, but now that I did the genetics, obviously the two rounds was really nice. But after that, I'm taking more damage than I usually would have. Oh, look at that! Look, look, look! Oh my god! Ooh, oh, oh, oh! Here we go. There goes Grace Number One. You see, you see the difference now. There goes Impelgramon. Oh, he's still alive. But anyway, I mean, I'm literally three Digimon's left. I'm still haven't finished killing Magnamon. I think maybe the best option is probably to go for um, maybe try to kill Stagemon and uh, uh, Lucemon first, since those two will probably die very easily than the others. Anyway, so yeah, look at that. I mean, I'm still on the first one. <laughs> it doesn't matter if how long I last because we're at like stage 5 out of 10. Come on, is he gonna die now or not? Okay, he's dead, so attack will be invincible, that's good. But anyway, um, we have I have 3 Digimons left, so this is not good, uh, which is game over for us. Okay, so yeah, I mean, even doing those 2 genetics guys was still not enough. I mean, I need like some kind of a stronger defense in my team. There we go, failed. I mean, at least we managed to kill 2 of them. <laughs> it's a bigger improvement than the previous uh, before the genetics uh, but anyway for um, PvP basically for PvP that would help us a lot like Lishi in arena in fierce fight in cross server mind war in well guild tournament or whatever it's gonna be the tamer contest and so on that's gonna be a very helpful to your team uh, anyway guys I'm gonna leave with this thank you for watching uh, and again give us a like and dislike and don't forget to subscribe and share this video Thanks again. Have a good day, everyone. Take care.